Hello everybody, a uh, little video here about uh, healing the bloodlines. Um, what I mean by healing the bloodlines, uh, kind of like a, trying to point you out. Uh, if you see the post out on Facebook, it actually like, it explains how from all the people becomes your mother and your father and, and you're right there in the middle, that's you. Um, and all those people from the bloodlines, they did not solve a certain problem, a certain situation. Uh, when they didn't solve that problem, that problem it's passing into you. Uh, that problem could be passing into your kids. And um, uh, we were talking about uh, here about this bloodlines and about the specific situation uh, which is a real life situation and I got the permission kind of like a uh, get and help you out with uh, uh, the situation since uh, we solve uh, this uh, uh, bloodline problems if uh, what it needs to be done what it needs to be do and maybe by this example this kind of like is going to help you out because on a lot of the videos, it's actually mentioned. A lot of the people mention healing the bloodlines, uh, but they don't understand what does that mean. I it's it's a little bit more complicated than uh, just you now. It just says few words. What do you need to heal? How you need to heal? What is the situation? Um, what do you need to understand first? Uh, what is it uh, that it's going on of the healing the bloodlines? Um, so I keep my notes here from today what I was doing. So I'm going to be uh, drawing in as I'm going to be talking to you. Uh, first of all, to understand uh, how this is passed. Uh, is that it? So... Uh, So uh, this could this is your kids. This is you. This is your mother. And this is your grandmother. So um, for example, you know, you're struggling with situation. And that situation is involve your kids. For example, that is a situation that uh, somehow you experiencing in your childhood. That was a similar situation from your mother. But when you talk with your mother, you hear that the same situation was experienced here. So now Grandmother did not fix the issue. Mother did not fix the issue. Now it's your turn. What are you going to do? So, when you're hearing the story of what the situation is, let's say, like for example, uh, how to program in your kids, what you need to tell in your kids. Uh, zealot. And when you get the advice from your mother, now you look at it from 5D perspective. Um, so something is not right. Something is not the right place. Something is not in the right situation. So you hear that your mother did what her mother did. Now you understand you can't do the same thing to your kids because through the 5D you look at this whole situation from here, from above. You're not looking at from here. You just look at it like individual who see yourself in the situation, like you're not a part of it. And that is the good part of the 5D that you look at it this. So, um, you look at the situation and you begin to understand that you have to act but not this way.
you have to break the chain. You have to evolve and you have to say, you know what? Stop. I won't act like you act and like your mother act. We all have the same situations. Now, I don't want to put my kids in that situation. I will not continue with this programming. I will do something different. I will go ahead and work with the saw. When I work with the saw, I will connect to the 5D. And I will disconnect this thousands of years problem. When you do this, the real winner is who? You? The real winner is the kids. See, the mother still have to solve her problem. Grandmother, of course, she's not alive, probably, most likely. But you, you're the one who did the job. And you help right here to solve the situation. And this is a, a, a bloodline that it's passed from one generation to one generation to one generation of through it. For example, this is all could this example is all female uh, related situation, but this could be all all male which is going to be a completely different uh, uh, situation. For example, if uh, that was a male, uh, the situation of the bloodline uh, that I discovered today, it was that uh, throughout the generations of the grandfather to the father, to the son and to the kids, which is their boys, um, it was always creating on this division of who is the best that the one of the boys have to have a better attention and that better attention was passing through generations and right now the real situation is here it's the kid why the one of the kids acting completely different and compared to the other so you have to understand that it's, if that is you you have to break this old pattern of putting the two so you can see who is the more strong, who is the most achievable, so you can kind of like uh, give them a more power, give them more force. You cannot separate your kids. Your kids, your kids. You have to allow them. But if you go and look at the situation from the 5D, you're going to understand what's going on and you're going to stop this proposition because back in the days the kings what they did is if they had two sons uh, the one who was the strongest one the one who was the biggest fighter was the one who's going to inherit uh, the country it wasn't the one who was the first one because sometimes the first one the rightful one uh, that was not in the case uh, if you look at it, some of the kingdom stuff, you understand that uh, sometimes the the first one was not the right performer, so the second one had to come in and step in because of this separation, who was what it was. Uh, so, so this is the bloodline that it's directly related, that is a direct bloodline, and I'm going to be drawing you a line of the family. And that line of the family is going to be a little bit more complicated uh, but if you have an issue, uh, you can go ahead and look at it, the situations. Um, so, for instance, um, if this is a parent one, and the parent one, um, has a sister, the sister has a brother, so 
they all three are related. So the brother is married. When the brother is married, brother has two offsprings. Number one and number two. The sister also have a two kids. One and two. So the parent one right here. The parent one right here is cast only you. So now parent one and parent two are married. But the parent one has parents too. Parent one and parent two. So when the parent one meet parent two, the parents of a parent one do not agree of the marriage. So the parent two said, you know what? I don't like your bloodline. None of your relatives, they want to support us. They don't want to believe in our love and I will not work. Neither with your parents, neither with your brother, sister, or whatever they have as relatives. Now, years passed, and this is you right here. Well, those are your cousins. Do you know them? No. Do you have any relationship with them? No. Do you have the things that you need to do? No. So, um, what happened is, is you go back into a parent one and you are like, we need to fix this. We need to fix this situation because right now we have something to need to deal with. We have a situation that we all have to come together and we all have to come together we need to discuss things so what was the original issue the original issue was relatives not happy of the choice of partner so the partner abandoned them the mirror is the same thing with the mirror so once you're talking to the parent one parent one situation is to contact the siblings and says you know what we have to meet so we all to be together because we have a situations that we have to deal with and we have to stop with this otherwise this situation right here it's passing up here but who have to explain to who what it needs to be done that is you the person understands the situation not somebody else but who has to create the action the action has to be created with the parent one. Why? Because the parent one was connected to his relatives through his mother and father, but the parent one was the one who was connected to a parent too. So the whole focus of the energy was connected to a parent one throughout the siblings line and throughout directly to the parents of it. Now, 
Once this connection will be fixed, this missing link between the cousins, which is those the first cousins, is going to be go ahead and reinstated, and this it cannot be passed the same situation as the previous example of uh, it. Um, another example of uh, uh, bloodline will be a uh, case of the situation is control. Control over the life of others. Uh, so, we are going to put here a mother, someone, and some two. So, they both, let's say here we are going to put the father. The mother has a parents one, parents two. The son has two. The other son has one. So is the father has a parents one and parents two, which is those are the grandparents for the kids. What was the problem? The problem was is the control issue. I'm telling you what to do and you have to follow me on what I'm telling you because I am your mother. Now, since the father was raised to follow the easy path, and to provide the peace into the family, the father allowed it, this control <coughs> to happen. When this control has happened, now this, it turns into a nightmare because the son number one begins to have a control. He only learns the control from his mother and he does not obey the situation. The mother, though, likes this son more. She did not like that much this one. So she created the competitions between them. The problem with the issue is here that this competition right now it transfers here. Where did the competition do come from? How you can heal your bloodline in this case. So you look at it back and you look it back into the mother of the son number one and you see who of the parents of her had the issue. It came in from the father who created this because the mother had a sister has a sister. So the father created this duality inside and that duality transfers to the son. Now it transfers to the sons. So how it can fix that bloodline right here is when the person who is here needs to stop this duality first of all and to stop really be under control of its own mother and the second of all he needs to stop with the control of his own kids and allowed the universe to do what it needs to do about the kids. The connections between here and here it's not your responsibility to heal. That is the responsibility of the person involved into the party. That's mean 
this person has to, the mother in that case, he has to go ahead and solve its own issue of control, its own issue and all problems went into it. You can go ahead and decide uh, how you can go ahead and uh, uh, draw yourself a chart like this for the bloodlines and uh, hopefully that uh, uh, can kind of like help you when it comes into um, the point of uh, I have one of these situations. Why do I have these situations? Why do I need to solve them? Uh, seems like those situations, they're repeating. They have a, a repeating pattern. Uh, it. Then you, you go right back into your uh, childhood and you see that your mother had a similar challenge or your father has a similar problem. Then you go back and you talk to your parents and it's like, why did you guys have this situation? And when you talk to them, you find out that this uh, uh, situation was actually passed on because their parents had it. And that goes down into the bloodline. And when you look at it into the bloodline, do you want the same situations to happen in your kids? And when you realize into the 5D, the, the connections of into the 5D, you look at it that you have to stop at this. Uh, and this is one of the part uh, of, uh, um, this self uh, comprehension that comes in uh, when you kind of like the light bulb clicks in inside of you and you're like I need to take the right action I have to talk to my kids as a souls from 5d point of view but I also have to talk to my parents a five point of view so they can understand that this cannot be continue to go into the next generations and to be passed from generations to generation. So um, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope uh, it's going to be helping you out. I hope that uh, some of you is going to be able to heal your bloodlines and if you got any questions uh, please uh, write them below. Thank you so much guys. Be love.